Hello everybody, welcome to La Cucina. Today we're gonna make jerky. So we're gonna start a preparation of jerky anyway. We're gonna make jerky tomorrow. In, uh, in my old days when I used to hunt, I always make jerky from venison and it was amazing. But we're gonna use beef. So I got about a nice top round, nice and neat, nice and clean. I have about three pounds here, and then I have eye round in the fridge. Another two and a half pounds, so it's about five and a half pounds of meat. And I'm going to make jerky into the dehydrator, and also I'm gonna make jerky into the oven. So I used to make it in the oven only, and I bought myself a dehydrator, it's coming tomorrow, that's why I'm gonna use it. But I'm gonna prep this because I like to prep this the day before. So it's been a long time, but I love jerky. And uh, let's get to it. So, beautiful piece of meat. This top is fat. We're gonna eliminate all the fat from it. Because if you have fat in the, in the jerky, you're not gonna like it. And then we're gonna do very thin. You have a nice slice, or you can use a slice. I don't have a slice. This is how thin you have to do it this way. So now, how we're gonna how we're gonna do this? So we're gonna start with soy sauce. That's the marinade I used to do when I had when I used to do venison. So this is one cup of soy sauce. And I'm gonna put another one. That's why I bought a new one, because this was just a cup. So now we got, I can never see this, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, uh, it's a Worcestershire sauce. Always a problem, saying this. This needs to be soaking in, because we want this to get all oh, the flavor, the best flavor of our marinade. So then, what I'll say is, I got the liquid smoke, and this is gonna be only like a, a tablespoon. I put a little more than a tablespoon. I'm Italian, I do always exceed a little bit more on what we support. Oh wow, it smells delicious. So then, we're gonna do a little bit of, I like it, of course, the garlic. And the garlic's supposed to be quarter of a cup or half a cup. You know, for me, this is half a cup. Not even, it's quarter of a cup. Cause I gotta put more stuff in it. We got some hot pepper. I'll put the description in, but guys, you do as you like. I like I like the spicy, but not too spicy, of course. What I bought is also meat tenderizer, and this is brand new. I'm not even opening it. And this is a little bit on the spicy side, so you know. If you buy anything like this, if you buy this, make sure you don't put too much of it. It's supposed to tenderize the meat and also make it spicy. So we're gonna mix this up a little bit first. And then I'm gonna put my hand in there and mix it up. I want to see what's on it. Now this is a, a big container, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little more of soy sauce in it because I only put half a cup. So. Now 
this overnight will absorb most of this liquid and then tomorrow we're gonna make jerky that's it plenty you guys like paprika I got a smoked paprika this is what I like brand new as well like the smoke taste. And even though we did put in the paprika and stuff, I always like to put a little bit of pepper. Just a little. Because now it's going to be too spicy. Okay, so now, hands in, I'll bring you in. So you guys can see the mess I'm making. That looks nice and red. So this is the marinade that I prepare the day before. And on top of this, we're gonna put one more thing that a lot of people, do, they do, some people put brown sugar in it. I like, I like more teriyaki sauce on it because the teriyaki sauce has got a different flavor and it's not as sweet as the brown sugar. So that's what I'm gonna do. Put a little bit of teriyaki, and then we're done. The smell is delicious. Yaki sauce. That's so, it's almost like a quarter of a cup. Not too much. Mmm, what a what a delicious mess is this. guys see you tomorrow okay guys so the beef jerk has been marinating since yesterday afternoon all night overnight so I was waiting for my dehydrator new dehydrator to come back to come in anyway but, uh, you know, whatever, it's not here yet. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start my process in the oven the way I used to do. So, make sure you get, you get yourself one of these if you do it in the oven. You put some foil underneath. So at least most of it will be nice and clean. It's, got, it's not gonna be not gonna be ruined. So you don't get any sticky underneath here. Yeah. That's all. Nice and clean. So when you finish, you just lift that up. And because you're gonna have some dripping, 
So we're gonna get her marinated. It's nice and cold. The oven is on 180. I'm gonna mix this again. Ooh, it's delicious, the smell. I can't wait to eat this stuff. Beautiful, look at this. Wash your hands all the time. Make sure your hands are clean when you deal with meat, no matter what. If you want to use gloves, you can use gloves. I don't like gloves, I like to feel the meat in my hand. So, this goes in the middle rack on the oven. You can use one of these jars lid. You know, like uh, you know, the metal rid lid, so you can just close this and make sure that the oven stays open. See, that's all you need, just a little space. That's it, it's not going anywhere. Okay, they deliver my Kusori Premium Stainless Steel Dehydrator. Food dehydrator. So, uh, uh, it's gonna take me a while to set it up. Okay, very happy that my dehydrator is here. Kosori dehydrator is right here. Let's work, let's work. So happy. Let's try this now. Uh, put you down here. You saw the process before. I'm gonna get one tray. Just gonna do one tray first. And then I'll get, do the rest. You guys don't have to see everything because then video is going to be like uh, too long. Let's go in with the first tray in the dehydrator. How nice is this? Look at that. It's got a nice magnetic um, apparatus. Just it goes right in here. I don't want to drip anything on the floor. And then just close it up, and that's about it. Okay, the dehydrators, you can see a little bit of the meat in there. I couldn't, I didn't even use the whole tray, I only had three trays used. I could, could have probably done all the whole meat in there. But this is the Kasori dehydrator machine, we'll see how it works. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have Jerky. One is from the dehydrator, the other one is from the oven. They look very similar. I'm gonna try, taste it. Mm. This took four hours in the oven. 180, look at that. Amazing. Flavor is delicious. Not much changes at all. You know, like from the texture, it's not too dry. So, see what it does? The jerky is not one you can bend it, but it doesn't crack. It cracks, but it doesn't break hold. Second piece. Amazing. I haven't done this for long. So think about this. Just five pounds of beef, some marinade, pepper, hot pepper, paprika. And look here, this is the result. So guys, I'm gonna put uh, the description the dosage in there and thank you for watching as usual and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and family thank you very much and bake the jerky everybody loves jerky ciao